Hey guys, the iOS 16 update is finally here and while let's talk about all of the new and exciting features that came out this fall just a few days ago that you could download right now on your phone and this software is compatible for any device that's an iPhone 8 or newer which is pretty amazing that they had this update for something that's four to five years old. So let's get to it. After you completed installing the iOS 16 update which takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes, the first thing you would probably notice are the rearrangements of information and the larger and bolder time numbers on your lock screen. If you don't like that the default time is so chunky, that's okay. Just simply go to wallpapers and select on the font changer button and click on the nice thin and elegant font of the previous design you recognize or any of the new fonts that they have. I really love this thick serif version that they just added in. You can also change the colors of the font with an array of different options. The first color option is nice because it adapts and changes to whichever color background you choose. They also have a color chart which you could drag your fingers and choose exactly what specific color you want. What's also cool is the new updated wallpaper wallpaper customizer setting. It's chock full of fresh ways to personalize your lock and home screen. Select from astronomy to an always ambient weather screen to your favorite emojis in a crazy repeating more pattern. The biggest and most highlighted feature for the lock screen is Apple being able to crop a photo you select and this gives a nice depth of field style between the time numbers and the highlighted object in the photo. You can also scale and resize the image to customize on how much or little you want the object in the photo to crop with the numbers and the AI will let you know if it's possible to crop. Keep in mind that this feature works best if the object in the image has a simple and more clear definition from the background. While playing with this, I find that close-up portraiture with strong contrast between the figure and the background tends to do really well. You can also add widgets to your lock screen that can tell you live up-to-date information like the weather too. Simply select on the empty plus container below the time numbers and tap on whichever custom widget you like. There's a bunch of great options to choose from like battery life, weather reports, news, stocks, and much more. There's also an option you could check out if you scroll all the way down and this allows you to click on a category and scroll through the different sizes and information. There's now a shortcut to choose different saved customized lock screens just by holding down the lock screen. You can add and customize new ones or even delete previous existing lock screens just by simply swiping up on the option and confirming with the trash icon. This next feature is super fun. With iOS 16 you can now create stickers from images and photography you took and share these on other apps. Here's how to do it. I have this epic photo of Gandalf probably doing some really cool graphic design. Select the image that you want to create as a sticker, tap and hold the image, and a really nice cutout highlighted animation will appear around the object. You can then copy the image and paste it as a sticker in iMessage or any other services you want. It's a fun and satisfying feature and a nice way to play around with the images and really create your own personalized sticker. So if you happen to make typos or text too fast and sent the wrong word by accident, you'll definitely appreciate this. To make an edit to a text message, open a conversation on iMessage, tap and hold the message to edit, now tap edit. After editing the message, you can see a small edited tag below it, which also will be visible to the recipient. You can also unsend messages as well. You can only undo a message within 10 seconds after sending it. Also, there might be a chance for them to see the message from notifications before you delete them. After sending a text, tap and hold the message you want to delete. Now tap undo send. As soon as you tap it, the particular message will burst with a little animation and it will disappear. Since we use messages majority of the day, these two updates can help a bunch. If you love a more clicky feel when you're typing, you'll be happy to hear that haptic feedback is now built into the iOS 16 keyboard. And here's how to enable it. Simply open settings, tap sound and haptic, select keyboard feedback, toggle on the haptic option, and you have successfully activated haptic when typing. This allows you to really feel the keys and give a more tangible and nice satisfying clicky feel, almost like you're typing on a real keyboard. Another hidden feature I really love is being able to full screen your music player when listening to a song from Apple Music, Spotify, or any other third party music apps. While listening to a tune, press on the album art on the lock screen from the media player to enter the all new full screen player look. This feature makes the album artwork fill your lock screen nicely and also applies a beautiful blur gradient to the background so each song will drastically change the look and feel of your lock screen. If you want to revert back to the smaller media player, simply tap on the full screen album art to minimize the music control panel. You can also easily toggle and forward songs to your favorite part just by tapping on the player timeline. You can also control timers on your lock screen. The new updated widget does more than just show you how much time is left on your countdown. You can control to pause and stop the timer altogether just from the lock screen versus having to reopen the app. It's also nice that the new display time is much bigger than the previous version which has a better glanceability. Next up is having the option 
option to see your battery percentage directly in the status bar inside of the battery icon, similar to your MacBook desktop or MacBook Pro, removing the need to swipe into control center to check out your battery. All you need to do is go into settings, tap on the battery category, and activate the battery percentage toggle switch. This allows you to have an up-to-date and more accurate display on your battery life all day. It's a simple but very helpful feature. Thanks to iOS 16, your hidden and deleted albums are now password protected. You don't actually need to do anything to activate this feature. Just simply go to the photos app and toggle to the album section. If you scroll down, you'll see a tiny lock next to the hidden and recent deleted albums. To view what's inside, use your existing passcode. Next up is an awesome feature I use all the time, which is copying text directly from your photos and now videos as well. Here's how to use it on your phone. Open a photo that has existing text, tap, hold on, and highlight the text that you want to copy and simply click copy and you could copy and paste it either to your text message or onto your notes. Extracting text on a video is a new feature from iOS 16. So we're going to scroll through this existing video and select the text we want to copy. You need to pause the video and exactly like photos, you highlight the text, copy, and then you could paste it into your notes. iOS 16 also lets you have the ability to blur your home screen's image page. Since images you choose can sometimes be very complex, it's nice to have a more simple and ambient effect on it. All you need to do is open settings, select wallpaper, tap on the home screen preview at the right, enable blur on the far right hand side, and tap done. Next up is pinning your favorite tabs in Safari. If you have websites that you constantly go to and sometimes delete and have to retype it again, you can now pin your favorite tabs so it'll never get lost or deleted. In Safari, if you press down on an open tab, you now have the option to hit pin tab. This will move the tab to the top of Safari where it exists as a tiny preview permanently pinned there, which you could then tap to view anytime. It's such a quick way to navigate to websites you go to every day without having to type or scroll through infinite tabs. Next up is a quick way to delete contacts. All you need to do is open contacts, go to a contact you want to delete, tap and hold the contact, select delete contact. To confirm the selection, tap delete contact and there you have it. Such a quick process. If you're always sketching ideas and jotting down notes, then this feature is something that will come in handy for you. You can now add the quick notes tile in the control center and this enables you to make notes instantly. Open settings, tap control center, navigate to quick note and tap the plus icon. Open control center and you'll find the quick notes added tile there. This feature is great if you have a cluster of apps on your phone. All you need to do is swipe on the control panel which saves you so much time. The next feature is really great for traveling as you can now convert currency directly from your camera thanks to live text. This makes it so much easier and eliminates the process of having to manually enter the currency values online. Here's how to convert currency directly from your iPhone's camera. Open your camera and point it to the text. Tap scan icon at the bottom right corner. When done, tap and convert icons at the bottom left. You can use the exact same method and translate foreign languages as well. Similar, open the camera app, point it to a text, tap the scan icon at the bottom right, select the translate icon at the bottom left, and there you have it. It can be a hit or miss, but it's definitely a nice feature to have directly on your iPhone camera. So these are some of the many key features that happen in the iOS 16 update. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you have fun playing with these features. Also appreciate the 1000 subscribers that we reached recently. Really appreciate all of the support and it's pretty mind blowing that there's a thousand people watching these videos. It's a very humbling experience. Thanks always for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.